to focus on this and I want to go to the first bullet and the last bullet. Oh. Immunity and performance. When I look at this product, my goal, and when I was working on it, my goal was to increase immunity in the body during this war and the stuff we're dealing with, with our bodies being attacked constantly with different things, whether it's 5G or whether it's different heavy metals that are out in the environment or viruses, bacteria. I wanted to give that immunity a protection and a block so it was sustainable and it would work really hard. And then I wanted the body to perform. And I go back to this and you look at the different things I've worked on. I really want the body to perform at an optimal level so that each one of you guys can be the brilliant people you are. In order to do that, that you have to be healthy. But when you look at performance, people think of athletic performance, collagen and colostrum, especially if you're in this an combination. If you're an athlete like me. If we look at performance, this is something that would actually benefit athletes really, really well to improve sports performance as well as just overall daily performance. Like I look at performing like I have to perform at work yes. to get stuff done. Yep. I have to perform as a mother, which is even, and I got to tell you, I have struggled with that lately because I have been traveling so much and we've had a lot of company and a lot of stuff going on and just being present for my children. I fail sometimes. Like I had meetings on Sunday and I didn't get to spend time with my daughter. And it was just, you know, I feel I want to perform at an optimal. And to do that, I've got to really give my body what I need. And there's so many days I don't um, that I forget. And in the middle of the day, I remember, oh my gosh, I didn't take this this morning. And, it, and you yeah. can see that. You can see the stress, you know, that impacts our lives, whether it's through your skin, whether it's your mood whether it's your metabolic function, if it's your sleep cycles, if it's your energy cycles. So being able to support all of that um, helps a lot. There was a question that can, can teenagers use, give me back my youth. Oh my goodness, yes. All ages. Yeah, you know, lacto I'm going to tell you guys, so milk's not really great for people as they age. I personally usually do cashew milk. Uh, I've tried all the other ones, but cashew is usually my best when I do different things. But if you can actually have the colostrum that most people don't understand what it even is, if you can give your body that, if you can find it, if you can source it, that's extremely good. The issue happened years ago when the colostrum was launched and it was not from pure sources. It was not made the right way. Then people tried to do vegan. They didn't work as well. And so they really kind of scrapped it. And it was almost on the black market, to be honest. We had a good friend, Ani, yeah. that who I love. She's amazing. Ani said I had to get it kind of from the black market because I couldn't get it anywhere. So we're extremely happy that this is all above board. This is all registered and we're giving you guys things that can really support all your body. cleanest, cleanest source as possible, cruelty free. And what do I always talk about? That's always my focus and I'm looking at antibacterial, yep. antifungal, antiparasitic. Next slide. All those things, antiviral. We got to go to the next group of um of slides because it's really important that you guys know this was not just about the skin and hair. This was not again just about helping people with age. This was again a blockade that we really wanted to give people that would help their body do what it naturally needs to do to support itself. And uh, the lactoferrins that are in the colostrum are really important to fight against in bacterial infection and fungus. And um, either they do it directly and indirectly because they really are preventing basically the virus from infecting healthy cells. And that's something I think that is being overlooked by a lot of people. You will find articles on it, but it's really important for people to know that. In fact, I want to go to the, and Clinton, I know is going to go back to the um, antimicrobial and the viral um, invasion, but I want to go to the very bottom bullet. It talks about how the properties of lactoferrin as a natural antibiotic were found in vivo and in vitro. So guys, what that means is in a lab, but outside of a lab with human beings and with animals, it showed that it basically inhibited toxic H. pylori. And H. pylori is something that I've worked on with numerous companies. Once you get H. pylori, it's so hard to treat. And I've said this all the time, of course, we care about the antiviral effects. And you can see from this study and from this slide that this is known to actually help affect the body and protect the body against certain things like that. And I want you to talk more about it in one second. But I think for, um, for me, because I had worked on H. pylori for so long, 
and we couldn't find different things that would inhibit this toxic bacteria and it would kill people so quickly. Which is in the gut. Yeah, but it's so bad. And once you have it and it spreads, yeah, it's all bad. It's like MRSA. It's just horrible. And so it's so fantastic. I think that this is something because when you know when people take Zithromax or they take an antibiotic, which I I think when people need it, they have to take it. But it also has all these other things that go along with it. This is something that's very healthy and natural that acts like something like that in a natural way to protect your body. So if you knew you had an H. pylori issue, would you use a little bit more? Give me back my youth and a Absolutely. teaspoon a day. Absolutely. Much like Restore, where you might, instead it's of like taking me. one, you might take three to five. Most people, and they don't realize this, when you get like colitis or you get uh, diverticulitis or ulcers, you have that there. And it's so hard to basically diagnose it or to pull the H. pylori. And, and a lot of times your tests are positive, negative. So it's extremely important. Um, and for me, it's a lifesaver because I have had issues in my stomach. I've traveled to so many countries where I have got parasites. The first time I was diagnosed with a parasite, I was 19 years old. It was after I had Lyme disease and I was in the hospital and um, I've always had problems since then. So this particular formula along with Restore and Clean Slate and Relive Greens. Are kind of self-serving. Yeah, very important to me. But I do want to go back because I thought he was going to talk about it. Um, so with viruses, when there's a systemic immune response to a viral invasion, invasion. Hold on, are we being invaded by? Yeah, I want to explain this to everyone. So, if you can inhibit the virus from being systemic, and you can basically control what's happening, it's like an army coming in. You're like, stop! I'm going to step up. I'm going to be stronger. Then you can really protect the healthy cells and keep the viral load down. And we know that we're all working on that. So, while we can't make those claims, I wanted to put on here different things that have happened from different studies, because I think it's extremely important for yep. people to know. And IgG is really important in that. Uh, yeah. So IgG, I talked about earlier. I worked with IgG for years. This is something we've always tried to control or replicate. But the fact that it's naturally in this particular product, in the ingredients, is extremely important. And there's, there's no way to actually synthesize something and actually and truly make it better than the way nature made it. Yeah, and I absolutely, but I want to point this out because I don't want to go too quickly through this. I know we're, we're trying to, to get through a lot. Um, immunoglobulin G is basically in the body and it, it lines the GI tract and it helps reduce inflammation and helps kill bacterial infections, which goes back to what we saw in the previous slide. Um, but I really wanted to talk to you guys about also immunoglobulin A because a lot of scientists and doctors don't talk about that, and that's your first line of defense to resist a bacterial or viral adhesion or a basically connection to the epithelial cells. And what that means is if you can neutralize that, so it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't ad adhese to it, it doesn't connect to it, then you basically neutralize the harmful effects of the toxins from bacterial and viral toxins, so which you is could, hugely important. You could think of it as a as a spike protein that's on a virus that's trying to connect to something, and it it it's like coming up against a glass wall. And, and it can't connect. And it can't, it get, can't to get in. It. It's trying to get to it, and it just bumps up against it, and it can't lock to it. Yeah, because once it locks, so when you look at the epithelial cells, and once it goes in, it, it can go anywhere. So that's why when you talked about, um, you know, SARS and MERS and all the different things that were part of COVID before this whole last transition, some people got it in their stomach, right? Some people got it in their lungs. It's because it's all connected. So if you look at the second bullet, it talks about how there's numerous studies with infants and adults that have shown this prevents not just in the GI, but in the upper respiratory infection and LPS-induced inflammation. And what that means is it's basically cutting off that inflammation throughout the different body parts and the organs and the cell communication of that, which is, again, extremely important, you guys, to us trying to live healthy and be the best we can be. So the, the colostrum supporting respiratory and GI and your immune system is supporting both, but also the regenerative lining of your lungs. Yeah. Yeah. And your gut.